Shannon Morse here with Hack5 from DEF CON 27 as usual. And I am joined by one of my favorite people at the convention. I love seeing you every single year. And it's awesome to see all the cool stuff that you have been doing. Thank the you. Asylab, thank you for joining me. How's your convention going so far? Great and very, 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 very busy. Yeah, I know, right? Me too. Well, everybody wants to talk to you. I mean, I am very, very lucky that you decided to talk to me today. So thank you for coming on to Hack 5 and talking to me. Of course, <laughs> anytime. So you just did a talk about election security. And yep. I, I want to know all about this because I think it's so important that we secure you know, our voting systems and the elections. So, so what did your talk discuss? How did it go? Well, it went great. Cool. And um, most voting talks are like, this is a problem, this is a problem, this is a problem. Yeah. But none are about, okay, here's a solution for that problem. Yeah. So I made sure my talk had the problem, then the solution on the next slide. And it went really well because my first question went on the question slide. Someone asked if I'd like a job. Really? Yes. Wow, that's awesome. Wait, I don't think you could have a job quite yet. Um, I don't know what the laws are there, so. <laughs> gotta like check. You probably have to be like 15 or 16 to have a job. But I it's, think. You got a little bit of time to coast for a little while. <laughs> yep. Just, yeah, ask your parents first, right? Yeah. <laughs> So tell me about the, the, the problems that you discussed in your talk and the solutions that you were able to figure out. Well, one of the problems is, uh, one of the biggest problems is most uh, voting machines don't have a paper trail. Mm. So that it says, okay, so I, let's say I put my vote in, yeah. a hacker goes and modifies that vote. Yeah. We don't have a paper Thing, just proving physically to like that authenticate I voted. that yeah. that person actually did make that kind of vote. Yeah. Ah, okay. And and if we don't have that, who knows? They change the votes, and we don't have proof to compare it with. Yeah. So so do you think with the paper trail, it would just have to be something that like is physically there next to the machine? Like yeah, be... and you need to be able to check the paper trail too. Yeah. Like a voting machine near my house, where my parents vote, it shows the paper trail. Mm -hmm. Then you uh, press the check mark to say, okay, that's correct. Yeah, that totally makes sense. I agree. That's an excellent way to help secure the machines a little bit better. Um, is there any other like software flaws that you talked on? Or hardware flaws? Well, one of the flaws is humans. Oh. Because the workers, um, there are a lot of spear phishing attacks, yeah. and those attacks, um, they, they're directed to the workers. Yeah. So let's say Bob clicks on a link, goes to a fake website, and then the hacker can alter things. So do you think we should um, separate the networks that the humans are working on against the, the voting machines? We or? should teach the... Um, mm. We should teach the humans on how not to be social engineered. <laughs> yes. So we need to train the people that are working at these places before they come in there the day of to volunteer. Yes. Excellent idea. Uh, what else? What's another good idea for people? Well, they're stored in cold storage when we're not doing the elections, usually at local like high schools. Oh, really? Yeah, and they oh. store them with spare traffic cones sometimes. So. Bob eats his lunch and grabs the traffic cones yeah. right where all the voting machines are stored. And get this, the way they secure the voting machines in cold storage is with caution tape. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. Wow, that's ridiculous. So anybody could come in there, say, with like, like if they have USB ports open on the back yep. of the machine. And stick a USB rubber ducky in. Who? Okay, so who's in charge of this? We need to fix this immediately. Okay, so physical security is definitely an issue. Yeah, because um, the locks that they have on there are simple to pick locks. Oh, um, on the machines themselves? Yes, on the machines themselves. Of course they're simple to pick. <laughs> That's horrible. So p simple to pick. Yeah. Um, some just have like five pins, no toadstool, pins, no special pins, just five pins, pick it, open it, stick a USB rubber ducky in, yeah. do your stuff and you I, just hack the I can machine. pick a five pin lock in like six minutes or less. Yeah. And that's like if I'm not paying attention. Yeah, and I can pick a five pin lock. I think 
the fastest I've done that is about 20 seconds. You got me beat, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So what do you suggest? Do you think that we should have better locks or just yes, like much stick better, them somewhere else? Or them yeah, somewhere much, else? much better locks. Okay. If we have better locks, they take longer to pick and yeah. you only have a certain amount of time in the voting booth Yeah. because you can't spend like two hours in there or else people would get suspicious. That's true, they definitely would. So that would protect um, them not only in storage but also when the people that are going in to vote are yes. hiding in their little cubby. Yep. Yeah, that's a really good point too. Well, that's awesome. Um, in, your, in your talk, you just gave it. Was it recorded? Will people yes, be able to watch it? Yes, it was recorded. Awesome. Where is it going to be posted? It's going to be posted in the Voting Village oh, okay. online. So you go cool. DEFCON Voting Village yeah. and then talks and it'll be recorded there. So yes, you can even watch it. <laughs> that's perfect. And uh, we should definitely talk about Girls Who Hack. Yep. So girls what is, who hack. What is girls who hack? I want to talk about this. Well, girls who hack motto is teaching girls the skills of hacking so that they can change the future. I love that. I created girls who hack because I have a lot of friends and there are a lot of girls out there who want to start learning how to hack and just don't know where to start, what to start learning first. Yeah. If they should start with SQL injection, cross-site scripting, Absolutely. programming. And That's I, why I started doing Hack 5 for the same issue. Yeah, and so girls who hack gives reasons on why you should become a hacker in computer security and then you go online to girlswhohack.com, yeah. check it out, <laughs> and um, you can see on there I'm doing classes on the OWASP Top 10. Have you heard of that? OWASP Top 10. I know OWASP. I've been talking to them frequently, but what is the Top 10? Well, OWASP Top 10 is the Top 10 vulnerabilities of the year, and if they don't change, they keep it to that year. Really? Yep. And the Top 10 vulnerabilities, I know number one is SQL injection. So I'm doing classes and blogs and videos at Classes at like DEFCON, at um, B sides, yeah. all different places like that. I'm doing my blog and I'm going to start a YouTube channel soon cool. to do the OSP top 10 each one. So, SQL injection, cross site scripting, and it's for beginners. So, I also explain like what a database is so you don't have to go on there. Yeah. Like, if you go to Wikipedia and research something, there are a hundred words you don't know. Yeah, it's know, an right? endless black hole of clicking on the blue words. Yes, all so. the sources. <laughs> that's so true. Well, that's wonderful. I love that you're trying to help it make more, be more accessible, especially to the younger generation. That's so important. Yeah. I feel the same way, and I think that's wonderful. Where can people find out more about Girls Who Hack? Well, you can go on either my website, BSILAV, com or the girls who hack website cool. girls who, who hack .com. awesome now to end our interview over here for hack 5 I know that you're also doing a capture the flag while you're here at Defcon so what is that all about well the capture the flag is a normal uh, small business network yeah. and they sell wigs clown wigs and nothing more. Okay. Who knows why they're not making money? This is a very obvious setup, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this small business network, unlike normal Capture the Flag, it's not built to have uh, vulnerabilities in it or bugs in it. Okay. You need to find bugs and you need to crack the Wi-Fi and get in and find the secret wig formula. The secret wig formula. I and, love it. Okay. And via email, <laughs> Um, carrier pigeon, whatever you want to do, <laughs> get the secret formula to me. And oh my god, I love this. Okay. <laughs> and thank you to Hack Five for the wonderful prizes, which includes USB rubber ducky, land turtle, you know, Wi-Fi pineapple, That's all the awesome. classics. And has anybody won the CTF yet? No. So the most elite hackers at DEF CON can't get into a small business what, um, a small business network that a 12-year-old built. <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> I feel like maybe they should check out Girls Who Hack so that they can learn everything there is to know about hacking yeah. before they go into your CTF. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Well, Bia Scilab, I'm so happy that you joined me. I've known you for years, and 
it's about time we actually got you on Hack 5. So thank you so much for chatting with me today. And thank you for having me. Of course. And people can find you, uh, what's your website again? BSILab.com? Yep, BSILab.com. And can they tweet you too? Are you on Twitter? Yes, I am on Twitter and Facebook and soon to be Instagram. And they're all BSILab, right? Yep, all BSILab. So easy. I love that. It's great when you can actually get your handle on all the places. Yep. You're on TikTok too, yeah? No. Oh. <laughs> See, I thought everybody was on TikTok nowadays. Like, my little sister's on TikTok and stuff. Kids these days. <laughs> Well, if you want to see more content and coverage from DEF CON, definitely check out youtube.com slash HAK5. I love checking out all the interviews here. Everybody is amazing. And if you have any questions, of course, hit down the comments. We would love to answer your questions. I'll see you next time. Trust your technolist. That's what we say at the end of the, end of the episode. Trust your technolist. <laughs> Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com.